Another chaotic chapter in the fight for control of Venezuela's parliament. While a government-backed deputy tried to show that he was in charge, outside, opposition leader Juan Guaidó again fought off soldiers, attempting to prevent him from entering the National Assembly. This time, he and some 90 opposition deputies succeeded in pushing their way into the chamber as the previous group fled the building. For the leader of the majority opposition faction of parliament, reclaiming his seat as Speaker of the House for however long was an important symbolic victory. This is proof of what is possible when we are united, organized and determined. Determination, Venezuela, determination. But the opposition may be overstating its victory. What's obvious is that President Nicolás Maduro could have employed far more force, as he did on Sunday, to prevent Juan Guaidó and his deputies from entering this legislative palace. The government, of course, will argue that the opposition has every right to take its seats in the chamber, but just as ordinary deputies, not as the leaders of parliament. But there's likely a more strategic objective to regain control of the only institution not under Maduro's command. Probably Maduro will say that all these spectacles between warring factions prove that Venezuela needs new parliamentary elections. Why? Because he knows that if he doesn't give the opposition transparent conditions for a free election, which is unlikely, an important percentage will boycott the poll, so his party will win control. But Guaidó is hoping that this latest escalation of the political conflict will reignite sluggish popular support for his leadership. He's calling now on Venezuelans to again take to the streets to demand regime change, and to believe that this time it will make a difference. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Caracas.